All right, guys, welcome to this page of the notes. Again, what we're doing is we're working on the conic section known as circles. What I've done is I have given you the graph of a circle, and I want you to write the equation for the graph that is shown. Again, really all you need to do upon initial visual inspection is check to see, is my circle centered at the origin, or is it centered at some value h and k? I take a look at it, and I can see that my center is at minus 3, 1. Well, right away then, I know that I have a value of h and k, which means that the equation I'm going to need off the formula sheet, again, it comes right off the formula sheet, just look at it, it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And we might as well just do it right now. I already know what h and k are. So we're just going to go ahead and throw those guys in there. I have x, careful of your signs. It's x minus, and h is a minus 3, careful, plus y minus my k is a 1. So I'm just going to throw that in there. It's squared. That's all equal to r squared. And so right away, without really having to do a whole lot of work, I've got x plus 3 squared plus the quantity y minus 1 squared is all equal to r squared. So I've gotten really far. I, I'm pretty good. In fact, actually, the only thing I don't know now at this point is I need to figure out what r is. So I'm going to need to find r, and there are two different ways to find r, two different methods for finding r. I will show you both of them. I will use them interchangeably. Um, in one problem, I may do it the first method. In the next problem, I may do it the second method. Be comfortable with both, or if you really like one better than the other, just go with that method. It doesn't matter to me which one that you use. It shouldn't matter if you're taking this class with someone else. It shouldn't matter to them which method that you use. Um, of course, I would encourage you to work smarter, not harder. Um, so figure out whichever one works best for you and do it. So I need to still find, let me make a quick note, must find R. That's what I got to do. I got to find R. And like I said, there's two different ways to go ahead and find R. So method number one. All right, method number one is going to be this. I told you guys back in chapter eight, section one, that I was showing you the distance and the midpoint formula because they were going to show up later on in the chapter as something that we needed to help us find these equations. And here it is. What you've been given is you've been given the center of the circle and you have been given a point on the circle. If you can find the distance between those two points, guess what you just found? Yeah, you just found the radius. So, using the points, minus 3, 1, and 2, minus 1, find the distance, which in this case will be equal to my radius r. Right? If I can find the distance between those two points using the distance formula, then I will have my radius, which I can just plug into the equation. So let's go ahead and do that. Remember, in order to use the distance formula, I need an x1 and a y1, an x2 and a y2. And again, the way that I generally like to do that is the point farthest to the left, x1, y1, the point farther to the right, x2, y2. So anyway, this will be my x1, y1, x2, y2, and here we go. I'm not even going to call it the distance. I know that the distance will be the radius, so I'm just going to call it r. r is going to be equal to, it is x2. Again, this is right on your formula sheet. Guys, it's plug and chug. Just I gave you the distance formula on the formula sheet, so plug in what you need to. It's going to be 2 minus a minus 3, which I'll square, plus y2, which is a negative 1, minus 1, which I'll square, and we take the square root of that. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm going to add the opposite, so that's going to give me a 5 squared. I'm going to add the opposite, which is going to give me a negative 2 squared. Got to take the square root of that, so r is equal to 25 plus uh, 2 squared is going to be 4 square root. r 
is equal to the square root of 29, which of course, square root of 29 is not a perfect square, but guys, it, it doesn't matter. Remember, up here in my equation, right, I need the value of r squared, not just r, right? I need r squared. So here's what you're going to do down here, right? You found r. r is the square root of 29. How do you get r squared? Square both sides. So that means that r squared is equal to the square root of 29 squared. Well, guys, this is going back a couple of chapters. What happens when you square a square root? They go away. So r squared is equal to 29. So all I got to do is back up here in my equation. I'll drop a 29 in right there for r squared. Let me show you the second method. Let me slide over here a little bit. There we go. Method number two. Okay, here's what we've got. For this second method, please notice what I did is I already wrote this equation, right? So, so far, here's what I've got for this parabola. I have this. I have x uh, plus 3 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to r squared, right? That's what I've got so far. Uh, just from plugging in, right? All I had to do was just plug in the value of h and k into the formula, right off that formula sheet, and I got this far, right? But what I don't know is r squared. So method number two, instead of using the distance formula to find the radius, right? Check this out. What I've done is I have given you a point on the circle, right? This point right here on the circle, two minus one. Well, guys, that's an ordered pair, x, y, right? Ordered pair. That's the x coordinate. That's the y coordinate. Check this out. If I plug in the value for x and I plug in the value for y, what's the only thing I don't know? Yeah, r squared. Yeah, let's, let, let's try that. Let's try that. I think this is going to be great. Here we go. The x is 2, the plus 3 squared, plus the y value is minus 1, minus 1 squared is equal to r squared. Hold up a second. What? It's the same thing. Right, it comes out the exact same way. Again, whatever you're more comfortable with, if you want to do the distance formula to find the radius, or if you just want to take that value, that ordered pair that I gave you on the circle, drop it in for x and y, solve for y squared, right? If I just take, right, to solve this for r, if I just take the square root of both sides, this is identical to this. It's the exact same thing. Um, so anyway, just, oh, God. Algebra is beautiful. I love it. So, so awesome. Anyway, here's what you wind up with. You wind up with 5 squared plus negative 2 squared is equal to r squared. That's 25 plus 4 is equal to r squared. So r squared is equal to 29. Cuckoo, kachoo. Check that out. r squared is equal to 29 r squared is equal to 29, whatever. Both agree. We're in complete agreements here. The algebra always works out, never contradicts itself, ever. So here's what I've got. My final equation, it was x plus 3 squared plus y minus 1 squared, and r squared is 29. And there is the equation for the circle, the graph of the circle that I gave you in this problem. All right, guys, had a great time doing this problem with you. Again, what I want you to do is pick one of those. I'll go interchangeably. Uh, in one problem, I may do the distance for me. In the next one, I'll just plug in the x, y value I gave you. I'll go back and forth between the two. But we'll go ahead and try a couple more of these. So head on over to the next page of the notes. We'll take a look at another graph of a circle, see if we can write the equation for it. I'll meet you guys there.